Sometimes things in life seem impossible. Nothing's impossible. I'm Gray Tedford. I'm a sophomore at Holmes Community College. Uh, I'm a, I stay active with the BSU at our school. I'm part of the leadership team. Um, I'm part of SGA. Uh, I'm a part of the tennis team. And I stay pretty active with my community service through a club on campus called Mosaic. Uh, my senior year after graduating, um, I bought a bike originally for college because I didn't know how big Holmes Community College was. So I, when I bought that, I just figured I'd see how far I could take it. And I ended up taking it to Oxford and then Tupelo, which is uh, 30 miles and 50 miles away from Bruce. So I figured like, hey, I should do something with this. So uh, that's how I got started with the biking. And I'm from Bruce, Mississippi, which uh, we only have one red light and a Sonic, that's about it. Because it's a small town, uh, all the people there are like so welcoming. I mean, uh, it's only a two-way high school, so everybody pretty much knows each other. So I just like the sense of uh, the sense of everybody seems like family to each other. It was my senior year at the state tennis tournament for tennis in Jackson, and Coach Levert, which is my tennis coach now, came up to me and he um, pretty much just offered me a full scholarship right there on the spot. And so that's how I knew for sure where I was coming. It was Holmes Community College in Goodman, Mississippi. My first biking trip was miles for Tuscaloosa uh, because I'm, since I'm rig originally from Tuscaloosa. I decided to come up with uh, what I call Miles for Tuscaloosa. It was a, um, a ride from Bruce to Tuscaloosa, Alabama for the tornado victims of uh, May 2011. Uh, after that, I did what I call Miles for Women. I raised $3,000 for the Gulf Coast Women's Center for Nonviolence in Biloxi. And after I raised that amount to show my, uh, the awareness of it, I rode my bike from the Goodman campus to all the way to um, Biloxi, Mississippi. And then after that, uh, I did miles for St. Jude, which included a, a walk and a bike. I walked from my house to Memphis, where St. Jude is. <clears throat> it was a 120 mile walk, and it, and it took four days. And then I biked from my house in Bruce to Atlanta, Georgia, which is 365 miles, and I did that in three days. Upcoming is uh, what I would like to call miles for amputees. It is a bike ride across America from San Diego, California, to St. Augustine, Florida. It's uh, approximately 3,100 miles, and it's going to take uh, around around no more than two months to, uh, to bike all the way through. There's going to be a lot of scenery since it's already a planned route. Uh, I, I expect to meet a lot of awesome people, and what I'm raising it for is probably uh, the best the best cause I've ever raised for because it's something that hits close to home. The reason I actually decided to raise money for the Amputee Coalition is because my dad, mom, and grandmother are all amputees. My dad is a double amputee, my grandmother was a, a double amputee, and my mom is a single amputee. And I just think it's crazy how all that happened on both sides of my family. And growing up, I could see, um, see how it affected them, and, uh, and it's just terrible. I mean, like, how, like going to the bathroom is, is, uh, is not even an easy task for them. I mean, going into the, to the grocery store, going to the post office, sometimes we take that kind of stuff for granted, but he, they just seem to fight it out, and that's why I'm raising money for this, for this, for this cause. My parents think this is the greatest thing that I've ever done. I mean, uh, they're kind of used to it because I've done previous rides, but nothing compared to a cross-country ride. But uh, especially that it has something to do related to them, they, um, they just think it's awesome. How I actually got my bike is a funny story, and it's actually pretty incredible. Um, I was sitting in my dorm at Holmes, and I got a call from my BSU director to come over there and uh, help her out with a few things. So I walked over there, opened the door, and she was standing in the kitchen and told me to come her way. 
and I walked over to the kitchen. A brand new specialized bike was sitting in there. I was like, Who, whose bike is that? And they said, she just said, she just straight up told me, she was like, it's yours. And like, I almost busted out in tears because I, can't, I couldn't afford a bike like that. And I know that, that God did this for me to do stuff like what I'm doing right now. When I'm on my ride, I'm gonna bestow a lot of things in my heart to keep me going and keep me motivated. And what I'm gonna think about specifically is um, the first time my, my family called me and was like, hey son, I'm about to get a, one of my legs taken off. And I, I just remember how bad it shocked me and saw how emotional they got. And I wanna fight through this ride just like they fought through their emotions. The guy that inspires me the most is my dad, Perry Tedford. I mean, just seeing how he gets around, I mean, there's no way that I could do that. With no legs, I mean, come on. There's a man named Terry Fox, and I was just in so inspired by his story. He, um, he actually attempted to run across Canada with one leg, and uh, he lost his leg due to cancer, but on the way across, he um, eventually died from, from his cancer. And so, and that, even today, they're still raising millions of dollars in his name. So I just thought that was crazy. And he's definitely one of the biggest inspirations in my life. When I feel like I can't pedal anymore and just feel like I just want to straight up just give up, I look back on my dad because I've seen him when he's down and out and emotional. And it's something that hit, hits close to home. I mean, I love my dad with all my heart. And it's just, I just, I just think about him. I just imagine his face and I know what he's going through. I'm just going to keep on pedaling in, in his name and my mom's and grandmother's. And my, dad, uh, my dad's actually going to be in Florida waiting on me whenever I actually cross the country. And so uh, a few of my friends and my girlfriend. But uh, that's, that's what I'm going to be looking forward to is seeing him and my friends. And it's, it's going to be exciting. It's called uh, uh, Amputee Coalition of America. I'm raising money specifically for the, the Patty Rossback uh, youth camp. It's where any, any kid with any limb difference or amputation can go visit this place completely for free and uh, just interact with people with, uh, that have amputations and limb differences. I mean, because I mean, if you saw a, a kid with an ampu amputation walk down the sidewalk, you'd be looking at his, uh, his prosthetic leg the whole time. But at a place like this, uh, they, they can build encouragement make friends with other amputations and they wouldn't be looking at their their difference they'd be looking at them as a person after my ride uh, i would love to go visit ohio where, where the youth camp is located and uh, actually present the check to them and show them what i work for and who i did it for because i did it for them i feel as if everybody in this world has a purpose and i feel that god put me here to actually do stuff like this, raise money for causes. And that's what I'm doing, I'm fulfilling this purpose. One day at a time